Good morning guys, welcome to today. Today is uh, really nice out, cold. I thought it was supposed to rain today, but it rained all night last night and here is the outcome. And this is one problem with this farm. I'll show you right now. The problem we have is I have a flood zone here and right there is where I've kind of like reinforced it so that it wouldn't the water wouldn't go in the arena that's what I was working on in the summer but we really need to uh, get this done this summer I think because summer we're gonna have to regrade this whole section here and uh, yeah so now I have a flood and the problem with this farm way back in the corner is our well so way at the back of the property is the well and we have every field is tile drained to our well so all the water believe it or not comes to the back corner of this property which is good in the summertime when there's a drought because we never run out of water but in the spring like this and sometimes in the fall and uh, sometimes like in this warm weather here the water has nowhere to go it has nowhere to go it can't seep in anymore because the ground is all waterlogged so now I have to figure out what to do with this uh, water and that my plan was to I mean last year I made it so that the water would come along and drain out to there but uh, now that's waterlogged down there so that's not even good anymore so I'm gonna have to figure something out I might have to build a pond somewhere that's the beauty about uh, looking at all your stuff looking at your farm in different seasons so you know what you have to work on in the summertime if I go farther this way you can see where all the wet stuff is that goes all the way down to the well so that is all full of water. So there's no way, no way the water can get out of here. So I'm not sure if maybe I can pump the water out of this area. I might try and pump this water out just as a temporary measure today so it doesn't go into the barn. And see over there, I'll put some wood so the water wouldn't go along there. I did not for the winter. But the arena got flooded anyways. Somewhere in the back corner. I couldn't get to it because there's a bunch of junk and bricks and stuff and down the back corner there. And the water all went in the arena. We had a rainfall warning last night and there's gonna be another one tomorrow. I think it's gonna rain again. So I have to make sure that is that water's gone. We're gonna have more in our arena. Anyway, so in the back corner there is where the water seeped through, so all the back area is could be a nice skating rink soon. But the horses only go there to poop, so. How was it? How are you doing, Penn? This little girl was following me all around the arena this morning as I was cleaning up the horse poop. Hi Penny, you guys ready for lunch? I'll get you some lunch. All right, so I hooked up a little pump. It's a little electric sump pump. It's in the water in there. And I'm pumping it out over to the field, hoping that it just empties. I'm gonna let that run for a couple hours and hopefully it's not running back down in here in this hole. But I'll know in a couple hours if the water's gone down. You gotta prepare because it's supposed to be another rainstorm again tomorrow or sometime tonight. So hopefully um, this will be all like dried up. That's what happens when you have a high water table area. Good in the summertime, but bad in the spring, fall, winter terrible in the winter good morning guys welcome to today's video today it is dark and dreary again don't know why i cannot handle the dark the dark kills me we have lights on in our whole entire house i wanted to take a second and show you my bullet journal it's not a real bullet journal because i haven't really started it yet but i wanted to show you that i 
did this inside the cover of my bullet journal. And then I did another page and it leaked through onto here, which annoys me. But this is my next page. It says decide what you want, write it down, make a plan and work on it every single day. I just don't know what I want to work on yet. And then I did my budget for January, which is clearly empty. <laughs> um, so I did that. I don't like the pens that I got. I bought these gel pens to do this bullet journal with. And I don't, and I feel like, and I don't really like the quality of them, but I got markers to do this and I love the markers, but I don't like that they bleed through. So I don't know how I'm gonna fix that up. Sophie on the other hand has been working through her journal like crazy. She has been a whirlwind on it. She's been doing a page after page after page. She can't stop. I've hardly seen her since yesterday. So Sophie's gonna give you an idea of what an actual, oh, hello Daisy, hello. <laughs> Anytime we change, okay. I was trying to explain this to you guys the other day. Our like at home voice is so different than our vlogging voice. And our dogs and our horses know our vlogging voice. And when we do our vlogging voice, they all get antsy and excited and they think that something's gonna happen. Like as soon as we started doing our vlogging voice the other day, the horses just came running, all three of them, all four of them just were like, whoa, it's starting, it's starting. And then it's the same with our dogs too. They just know. Okay, so you Sophie. You the camera and she's like, I'm here. Yeah, okay. So basically, Bullet. Sophie is Bullet. mostly doing most of... <laughs> The bill oh my journal. gosh, I can't talk. Sophie is doing more of a bullet style journal and she like is really into it. So let's show them a couple of your favorite pages. Your breath smell like dog food. You smell like dog food, Daisy. Dog food. So Sophie wants to show you all her pages. So these extra pages, which is not. Okay, so anymore. this is her least favorite page. This one. And this is her uh, yearning pixels? Year, year in pixels. Year in it's pixels. how my day went. It's what the person put and I didn't, I shouldn't have put All it. All right, we don't know what that one means. But basically, if she made this chart here, and if she had a normal day, she'll put purple. She'll color it in. Oh, see, she had a normal day the other day. You didn't have a good day? It was normal because I had headaches. Oh, okay. So anyways, moving on, you get the idea. And then she, okay. then she did a mood tracker, same idea. And then she did a water tracker. So this is how much water she's drinking each day. And it's like a line graph. And then she did a to-do list. And then she did a pain tracker. And I love this idea for her. Daisy's like, just play with me, play so with now, me. So now you like the toy. She doesn't play with this toy. It's because we are using our vlog voice and they think it's on. You guys know Sophie had a concussion recently. I. People don't understand the severe way she fell. She fell off the horse. The horse was hardly moving, but she fell off the horse. It tripped and so she went down and she fell like this on her head. She fell like this on her head and this was her feet. Her feet and her arms and everything was completely support, supported by her neck and her head. Like, you know, when babies fall, and like- like fatter, so it's more weight on the head. Yeah, like it and was- she wasn't expecting it, so she didn't brace. She, she wasn't like, expecting I it. I never brace Gabby. You <laughs> I'm never expecting any fall. Yeah, so anyway, she didn't brace. She fell flat on her head, straight on her head, and her feet and her, uh, her feet and her arms, her whole entire body was supported by her head for a few seconds, and then she fell forward and smashed onto her face. And so it's been months, it's been months now and she still has pain. She still has pain every single day. Today, she tried not brushing her hair in the morning and now she doesn't have a headache. I'm getting one. Oh, you're getting one right now because I'm talking? Well, when I was coming downstairs, I started getting one. Yeah, so like when she walks around from like blood pressure increasing and stuff, like she gets headaches all the time. It can be like going into a store and the noise from the store. It can be me talking. It can be like too much commotion. It all starting to give her a headache all the time. Fast like that, yeah, so she has post concussion syndrome and we know that and we're dealing with it and it's awful. It's awful. Ball. Like, I know it's a treat ball. <laughs> Every dog comes, play with me, play with me. Whoa, oh, she, <laughs> she threw her right back to you. <laughs> okay, so anyways, when she did this one, I thought it was such a good idea. It's a pain tracker. This honestly has affected Sophie in, in the worst ways. Like, she's so easygoing and happy that she doesn't make it 
seem like it's so bad, but it is. Like, she spends more time in her room now than she ever has before because her head hurts so much and she has to remove herself from, from places. Like, it's been months. Was it September? It was last year that I had a fall. Yeah, like, it has been months, long enough that she should be better. It can last a year. It can last longer than a year. And I even have a friend that this happened to not long ago, and she got depressed from it. She got depressed. Every time my neck cracks, it scares me. All right, so Sophia and I are at the dollar store. Look at those. Those are cute. These are cute. I want to get some stickers now. Like, stickers would be fun. Oh, look at These diamonds would be smaller and better. And those ones are cute. There's so much stuff. When you start journaling, you can't control yourself. Look at farm animals. Yeah, Dalmatian glasses. Oh my gosh, a Dalmatian. Shopping for stuff for my daughter. I know, we love shopping this. for stuff. Sometimes I swear it's we just oh, want to shop for this. stuff. I'm getting these fancy diamonds. These Way more markers on this side, Sophie. Marker alert. I'm looking Why for. Did see these? I'm looking we're for. Stupid. <laughs> we're stupid. Oh, look at they have little rulers. That's what we need. You really need that. Yes, I do. Because I, I need that too. This one. One of the things that we got Sam for Christmas was this hat, and you push the button, and it's a light. Holy. Four times. Four yeah. times. Okay. So, anyways, how do you like it, Sam? I like it. Do you like it? What well, do you like? At night, when I'm at the barn, I can just turn it on, and I can see everywhere. Do you like it? Like, does it work? Yeah, it works. Oh, Keeps okay. my head warm. Yeah, uh, that's awesome. I think everybody should get one of those, especially when we have to like... Yeah, all of us you mean? Yeah, okay. so when we have to like put the horses in at night or, or load them up to go to a show in the morning when it's dark. Yeah, what do you guys think? Do you think that people that work at a barn and especially in wintertime when it gets dark late or even like for emergencies and stuff that you should have a hat like this that has a built-in light so that your hands free? I love that idea. Who remembers this thing? There are days that I come down to the barn just so that I can spend time with Sophie while she plays with her horses, while she like works with them. And today I was thinking back to when Stella died. You guys remember that she had an injury and she died of internal bleeding and all we could do was call our vet and stand with her and put blankets on her and keep her warm. Her internal bleeding was so severe that she did not survive until our vet got there and he got there really quickly. So she had a fatal injury and after that I was so nervous and scared and worried and stressed out about our horses. Like when you have like a traumatic experience like that, it can make you worried for forever. Like it just, it just makes you so panicky and nervous and scared. And I wanted to make sure that that didn't happen to us again. Enter the night watch. I got this thing a couple of years ago, like three years ago, but I got this so long ago. This is basically a monitoring system for your horse. It's a halter that they wear while they're in the paddock and you use it to monitor like their heart rate and it sends alerts to your phone if there's a change in your horse's heart rate or if something happens where they're injured or worried or stressed out. So many things, it just alerts you. It sends an alert to your phone. I love this thing and we tried using it so many times. To get all the functions that are available with this Nightwatch halter, you have to have Wi-Fi in your barn. And we didn't have Wi-Fi in our barn and it was so stressful and so awful and I hated that. Fast forward three years and we finally got Wi-Fi in our barn. But today when I was thinking about Stella and how much I miss her, I thought of our night watch halter and I thought like, holy heck Laura, we have Wi-Fi in the barn now. Why are you not using this? And I'm excited to bring it out and use it again. Can I try it on my ponies? It's not gonna fit your ponies. We did definitely get well, Honey. the horse. This will fit your whole body. Size one. I think, I think it'll fit. I don't think it's her gonna fit. Her whole body. Yeah, her whole body. <laughs> anyway. She's just so calm. So obviously none of our horses are sick, but if our horse was like, if our horse was like having a baby it fits or, best. or it's, it's going to fit Penny and Gino or on stall rest or something like that, then I'd be able to have this and use it. And I'm excited to use it again. So even though none of our horses are sick right now and we don't really need to use this, I am going to charge it up. I'm actually going to clean it off too. I'm going to charge it up and I'm gonna bring it down and I'm gonna put it on probably Chino and I'm going to attach it to the Wi-Fi. Why Laura, why are you gonna do that? It allows you to track information that you don't normally have access to like heart rate and then 
having all that information written down in like my bullet journal will allow me to detect differences or changes that might not be like alarming but that I could note and then like tell my vet in the future, stuff like that. I know I said I was gonna clean the tack room and I am going to. It's another really dark and dreary day and I hate like, it makes me feel lazy and like I can't do anything. It makes me cold down to my bones and it just makes me not feel excited to do that kind of stuff. I need like a really good day, a day where I have so much energy and I'm gonna just stick with it. So I have to wait till it's a sunny day. You know how Honey pushes things? Yeah. She tried to push Honey out of her way. She's like, uh, yesterday? Honey almost went flying. Yesterday I saw Honey go up to, to Willow, to Honey. Uh, yesterday I saw Honey go up to Penny and they sniffed noses for a few minutes and they're backed up for excitement. And they were like, and Honey was like, do you like me? Do you like me? And Penny said, you're fine. I don't care. Like, it's not bothering me what you're doing. And then so Honey tried to get closer to Penny and Penny said, get out of here. <laughs> That's the kind of girl she is. Oh, hi, honey bear. <laughs> Penny's like, that's my girl. Hi, hi. I swear our horses get bored to death when the weather's bad and because none of us want to be down here when the weather's bad. We don't want to be still down here. Kiss me. Kiss me. She does kiss. Kiss. No, up here. Kiss. Oh, you do what Gabby does? Don't you know that you're beautiful?